We are watching right now Mara going up to the moon and look at the correction afterwards. But right now, what is happening, Enrique? Let's see what's going on. Plus 10% more or less today. Very interesting. Let's talk about it. Remember to read the disclaimer right here and also in the description below. Welcome to Trading HD. Amazing movement to the upside. Look at this. Completely vertical. Let's throw very fast. Kind of a support level like this. But wow, this is completely vertical. You can't even throw it in, in this time frame. Yeah, th at this particular point right now, this is, you know, it it's completely related to Bitcoin. And actually, Bitcoin plus percent, 5% uh, on the upside. And look at that, you know, mm -hmm. the stock is going up as well. Uh, it's very, very correlated. It's nothing that I've seen before in Mara before, you know, the 2024. So right now, different scenarios. Uh, and Enrique, what, uh, what, what is the best strategy for this particular uh, moment right now in terms of risk management? Yeah, that's a very good question. As usual, let us know in the comments your opinions about this because we are always happy to learn from you also. And in this in this type of trades, personally use technical analysis because the fundamentals are very uh, difficult to, to predict when you see this kind of hype and high volatility scenarios. And also the Bitcoin price could change and uh, the direction of this stock could change also. This is just something that uh, obviously is related as you see today. 5% to the upside Bitcoin, 10% Mara. But some days we saw different things, so it could change. As usual, risk management is something key. And for instance, let's see uh, very fast the technical analysis right here. What happened during the last months and why this uptrend had started could be a hint uh, in order to, to trade for the future. Uh, I'm using the logarithmic scale just, just in case, Alvaro. Mm -hmm. So you can clearly see right here, this last breakout, in my opinion, was a key moment we even have had a gap to the upside so it, it you know we could see there a lot of strength to the upside and obviously the movement continued but what are the reasons behind it personally i don't know them but if you know something guys let us know in the comments and all your opinions are welcome yeah, probably, you know, it, it, it's com uh, as, we saw, as we saw before, it's completely related to Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes down, the stock should go down as well, according to this pattern. But let's take a look at the volume profile, because maybe we can gather some information from here. Okay, let's take a look at it. Um, very interesting, as usual. We have um, multiple prices in this in this mm -hmm. case. It's different. Normally, you tend to see them closer, but we have some of them very big at $18, more or less, also 16 and then we have the bigger one right now, 20, $23. So the most traded volume was around this level of 23. And then we had also another level at 26. So a lot of different areas. Very interesting. You know, this chart from 10 Ganesh's perspective is a very good opportunity to learn a lot of things. Yeah, remember guys that the body control, the red line that we are watching right here, it means that the, ter the, the price should go around this area as it, it should trade around this area, you know? And actually, it, it, it was happening. So according to this pattern, uh, it, it should go sideways for a little bit. But obviously, you can clearly see this volume right here around $27, uh, between $23 and $27, which means that there's still there is a lot of upside potential right here around this area. So maybe the stock could go up to that direction. Yeah, that's a, this is a very interesting moment, as you mentioned, uh, because obviously we had all this strength to the upside, but um, I think that seeing a correction at this point could be uh, completely normal. Also, it wouldn't mean that the price will crash, but it could also be like that, because if we go to the past, for instance, uh, let me erase this, we can see in 2023, in December, after this huge upside, you know, we had this crash you know at the at first time it was like a correction we have even the, the red arrow right there i think we talked about it we had the breakout of this kind of uh, support level right here let me draw it and from there after the retest we had this kind of you know it was like a not a crash it was more like a correction even that the percentage was very big uh, more than 30 percent but for this type of assets with upsides of more than 1000 percent is completely normal but then we had this movement to the upside after another breakout. Very clearly, we can see it right here. But from there, we had another crash at this um, green green circle that we have right there, $23. As we mentioned, key level. And now it is also a key level. And from there, what happened? The price crashed very, very fast. And, you know, sometimes this is unpredictable. It's like you don't know if it's a crash or a correction. That's the difficult thing when mm -hmm. following uptrends. Yeah, obviously, you know, uh, look at the uptrend. Yeah. So it's also unpredictable to know when it's going to stop. Um, and maybe this this is what's happening right now. Look at the, the uptrend that we are watching. It's even yeah. more vertical than the previous one. So obviously, it's like, okay, 
if it, 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 in the previous uptrend, you know, that we saw it was insane, then there was a correction, but like right now, even more vertical than, the, than before, like, what should I do? It's like people are right now, they are asking that question, which is difficult to answer, you know, because there is a lot of volatility, a lot of possibilities. The only answer you, that I can say, for instance, is like, if it's related to Bitcoin and if Bitcoin goes up, this one should go up as well. Yeah, that's something that you could take into account also analyzing Bitcoin uh, related to this and see how in the past uh, it worked. You know, it could be some hints for you as backtesting because if it was correlated in the past, it could happen again. And if you have more information, the better. But as usual, remember to manage risk because these scenarios are very volatile and also very dangerous. And if you are not an experienced trader, these type of assets are very risky to trade. So. What could you do also? Like, uh, let's take a look at the last uptrend. We have it with vertical lines right here. It was during 2023, during November, more or less. It started in October. Let, let me draw it very fast right here. And it finished more or less in December. Very interesting, you know, this movement uh, was like the start of this upside potential. And from here, um, we could say that we entered into a correction because it seemed like a crash, this last movement of 2024, or how the year started. Uh, with this minus 53% to the downside, more or less, it seemed like a crash, but at the end, it could be a correction because if we take a look at the higher perspective, uh, the uptrend before this was 340% to the upside. So that correction of 50% could be normal. I mean, it could be something um, predictable, and from there, the price could continue going higher. It doesn't mean that this will be the scenario, but it is a possibility. So, guys, what do you think? Do you think this is the start? Of, uh, sorry, this is the continuance of that previous uptrend that started in October 2023. Or do you think that the correction uh, is more, uh, it will be deeper and it will be a crash at the end? What do you think? Let us know in the comments and we can start that debate. Also, we are watching right now the market cap. We have it right here below 6.4 billion. Uh, we are near the, mag the, the the last highs that we established back in December, which is around 8 billion. And right now, you know, obviously we have all the information that, you know, is related to what's happening because the uptrend that we are watching is also related because they, we are, they are in benefits. Uh, and it's like the first, the first, no, but the second or the third uh, time they, they made and a net income in one quarter so that's very very good news and that's related to the uptrend it happened before you know like the before when the, when the company made some profits in the past the uptrend that that happened at that time it was incredible uh so obviously a lot of volatility is a it's a it's a small cap it's uh, it's just six billion it's not that much but it's something that you have to take into consideration let's take a look enrique at the forecast yeah, I will, as we're going to say that because we all always like to see the Wall Street forecast that we have right here. We don't have a lot. We just have eight analysts right here and the analyst rating nine. Neutral, that's the perspective, you know, based on this. And also we have the average minus 16%, the maximum one plus 14% and the minimum one, wow, minus 64% more or less. What do you think, guys? Do you agree with this uh, kind of forecast or do you have different perspectives? Let us know in the comments below. What do you think about this uh, analyst, Alvaro, these, these projections? Yeah, I think it's, it's interesting. It's like it, it's reflecting that they are bullish. You can clearly see there are some strong buys and hold. So obviously, mm -hmm. when you when you see like a buy, strong buy or hold, uh, like in, in the majority of them, that means, you know, the, the, the stock, they, 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 they think this is going to go up, and it, which is happening right now. So obviously, it, it's like there are other stocks that, that go up a lot, and then we have like, okay, what now? And you see the analysts, they think this is going down. Uh, and the, okay, you may think oh, it's the best moment to sell the stock or at least to take some profits. But in this case, if they say this is some buy at all, maybe it's not, the, it's not the time to do that yet. Yeah, we also have one sell and one strong sell. So more or less, uh, well, you, you have just out of nine, two. So we have from that eight analysts offering that one year price forecast, maybe those two, the, I mean, the, the minimum one is just the strong sell and the sell uh, is, yeah, it could be around those levels, but the average obviously with that minimum of minus 64% will be lower than, uh, the, will be lower from the side of zero because with the maximum of just 15%, is not that high. Very interesting to take that into account, to take all the factors into consideration. And for instance, something that is key right now is to see how the price develops next week, because I think that if we don't see like that bullishness continuing, a lot of investors will uh, think again if entering at this price was a good idea, and we could see the lower prices being visited again. Or 
the other type of scenario that we could see, obviously the stagnation period is always there, but that's not something that we like to comment because it's something boring. But if the price continues going higher, wow, the, wow, the craziness could be again insane because the last time this happened was 340%. So two possible scenarios, a lot of risk involved. So remember to manage risk properly, guys. Remember to subscribe. Welcome to Trading HD. Have a nice weekend. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.